Detroit, baby. We out here. You see what's going on. We activated. We ain't playing no games. Recording. Three-way calls are strictly prohibited and a violation of MDOC policy. Thank you for using GTL. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, dog? What it look like? What's going on, my brother, man? How you feeling, bro? Man, I'm feeling amazing, man. I'm feeling blessed, man. I'm motivated. That's right. That's right, man. This GX, man, from the Forum Magazine, man. If you know, you know. And if you don't, then today you're going to find out. We dealing with somebody right now. We interviewing somebody right now that's currently um incarcerated at Ken Ross, but putting in work and, and showing a certain level of determination in terms of his music and just hustling on all levels, man. Uh, pay Shaq, man. What's going on, bro? Man, everything, man. You know, we got a lot of going on right now, man. You know, single come out today. My fear proverbs featuring Bayface Ray, so we just act. No doubt, no doubt, man. Now that's interesting within itself, bro. For you to be where you at, bro. How do you pull off a babyface Ray, who's arguably one of the hottest rappers representing Detroit in the world? Not just one of the hottest rappers from Detroit, but just somebody that's just taking this shit global, doing overseas tours and all type of shit like that. How was you able to put that situation together? I mean, I, I think it really come down to me, you know, team, bro. Like the relationships, you know, what I'm saying relationships, I mean, you know. In this industry, bro, what's most valuable is your relationship, your connections. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can know anything in the world when it comes to the business part, but if you got a, you got a bad rap or if you ain't got no connections, man, it's really hard to get, get it done. So it, it comes down to the connections for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, my dog, my dog, my dog, you said me can't do for me. You know what I'm saying? And connect those dots. So, you know what I'm saying? How that go? No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. And you say that record out now. Yeah, yeah, so, so, so what's going on right now, man, you know how the process, man, how it go, when you're dealing with an artist on that level, we have to get it cleared, you know what I'm saying, so what happened was, uh, initially, man, you know, Empire was supposed to upload it and, and push it out, but we ended up having a, uh, some miscommunication in between the Empire, so to the meantime, I gotta use Distro Key real quick, and what happened was, uh, I went to submit it, you know what I'm saying, but you gotta get it cleared, from an artist, you know what I'm saying, once he on that type of level, you yeah. feel me, so, before he, yeah, before he come out, he had to get clear, it's already clear now, so right now, we just wait, it's a waiting process, but it's already out on YouTube already, though. No, most definitely, most definitely, before we go more into your music, man, because you got a lot of stuff going on, other big features as well, um, so before we go into that, man, tell a little bit, tell the people a little bit about your background, where you from, and just, you know, how you was raised just in Detroit. Just talk about the whole vibe of Detroit with you coming up. You feel me? Where you from? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm from, from Joy Road. You feel me? From Scuds, huh, man? You know, uh, so growing up on Joy Road, bro, you know, in my hood, bro, you feel me? Like, <clears throat> as a kid, bro, I've been putting people in position. You feel me? Like, I've been at the, the hood and the head a lot. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, for real, for real, growing up in that hood with treacherous, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I got my name really from the streets, for real. You know, like, like most people know me as, you know what I'm saying, RTM sec or late to money sec, you know what I'm saying? So, but you feel me? That's, that, that's the background that comes to that, you know? For sure, for sure. And in terms of, because I heard it related through money so much through so many different songs, Um, you know, with T Grizzly, of course, putting it on, on the mainstream, you feel me, for the world to know about it, Um, arguably... Uh, one of the most respected um, groups um, coming in, coming, you know, coming out of Detroit. Um, would you, would you plan like a pivotal role? How important, like just learning organization skills and, you know, cause you seem like a real like disciplined person for you to be doing everything that you're doing. And, and you saying you've been had the hood on headlock. Um, talk a little bit about leadership, bro. And just like organization and how you just putting everything together or how you've been putting everything together. All right, so yeah, yeah, so since, since I was little, bro, you feel me, I always had a mentality of having my own everything, you feel me, like, I couldn't, I couldn't, me personally, bro, I couldn't allow nobody to, you know what I'm saying, leave me, you feel me, because, don't get it wrong, they said that the best leaders are the ones who can follow the best, you feel me, so I, I soaked up the game from a street perspective, you know what I'm saying, but when it comes to that, bro, it's really, it's, it's really like, you gotta get used to so many different personalities, bro, you deal with so much stuff. And you gotta just make sure that you come together with everybody else on the same, on the same page, like minded people who home, you trying to, you know what I'm saying, get somewhere. So that, that, that's really, that's really when it comes to, when it comes to leadership, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like, we was down there 
Man, I remember one time we had went down to the downtown, bro, at the, uh, at the whole down weekend, and like 400 strong, you know that much, you feel me? So it, it's, it, it's really just about, man, being around like amount of people who home me, bro, and being able to listen to each other for real. No, absolutely, absolutely. Um, and, turn, and so right now, you're currently at Ken Ross, and you doing, how much time are you currently doing? All right, so I got I got here with I got here with ten plus ten, so I got here with consecutive senses, so I'm doing twenty. You feel me? That was for us. I got here with. And, and it seemed like your spirit is still on high, bro. Like you going crazy, bro. Like like what keep you motivated? Man, that vision, bro. Like desire, bro. Like you gotta have desire, bro. You gotta have a burning desire. And by burning desire is meaning like basically, no matter what, no matter if I'm locked up, no matter what I'm going through, bro, and I'm determined I'm going to achieve what I set out to achieve, bro. And so my brain power, you feel me? So when it come down to that, bro, it's really just knowing that because at the end of the day, bro, yeah, I got healed this time, but I know what I'm working on first with my lawyer, and I'm like, you about to get me back home. I'll be home, so you feel me? No doubt, no doubt. All right, so let's jump into the music, man. Um, You got a song with, man, one of the people that I respect the most, man, Solid God, man. Courtney Bell. Talk a little bit about that one, man, and how y'all put that together. Another Joy Road oh, uh, alumni, I would say, you know? <laughs> no, for sure, for sure. Yeah, Courtney Bell, man, that's my brother, man, you know? So, you know, we've been thugging since childhood, bro, you know what I'm saying? And he out there in motion, man, he doing real good, you know, he focused, man, he a good dude, though, he a good dude, for sure. Yeah. So, you know, our, our, we got family ties, man, so... You know, he heard me, you know what I'm saying, getting active, bro. And I called him, bro. He like, bro, no doubt, it was already done. And, you know what I'm saying? He hopped on it. It was, it was, hey, it was history. And from that point on. Straight up, when you got that verse back, because I checked out the verse, man, and <laughs> he went crazy on the verse. When you got that back, man, was you excited? Like, hell yeah, he delivered on this motherfucker how I want it. <laughs> no, I was excited like a motherfucker, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I heard that shit. I said, damn, that nigga went crazy. Straight up. You, know Straight up. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, he cut up on there, bro. He put on for me, bro. You know what I'm saying? He did his thing, man. No Next doubt, level. no doubt. Another Joy Road alumni, man. It's another guy I respect and got mad love for, man. Leak Hustle. Leak Hustle. You heard me? Yes, sir. Yes, no, sir, for sure. man. Talk about that one. No, Leak, man. Leak is a, Leak, Leak, Leak a humble guy, too, man. You feel me? And, uh, you know, he, he stick to his brand, man. He 100, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, he had my back 100%, bro. I was calling, bro. Listen, you got to do it. You know, he on point. You feel me? So, yeah, Leak, man. Basically, bro, I have... I released the song first on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? Because I was pushing everything on Instagram. And bro ended up hearing it, you know what I'm saying? I popped at him like, what you think about it? He's like, it's fire, bro. I'm like, don't you hop on it, let's get active then. Yeah. He like, say no more. You know what I'm saying? He hopped on it, put it in the verse. I got it in the verse back. I said, oh, yeah, bro, talking wet on that mug. You feel me? So, yeah. Straight up, straight up. So just to, just to go back to this uh, baby face uh, uh, Ray uh, joint that, y'all, that you got, um, tell the people the name of it and... Um, just talk a little bit about um because I to my understanding y'all supposed to be having like a single release or something like that in Chicago yeah. for this record. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. So so okay, yeah, okay, so so today we're going out to Chicago, bro. You know what I'm saying? To celebrate the uh the final Mafia Proverbs and it's the Mafia Marathon. So the final Mafia Proverbs that we're gonna be releasing, we're gonna end it with Babyface Ray. So we supposed to be going out to Chicago today. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing a party bus, you know what I'm saying? Got a stripper on there, you feel me? She's gonna be dancing, putting on, you know, we're gonna have fun. I'm gonna be there too. You yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? It's weird. <laughs> no cap, you know no cap. I'm, saying, so. I'm, I'm looking at this Mafia Proverbs, uh, you know, like, like poster or promo, uh, poster that you got. Um, you put this together? Like, you, you came up with the concept and your team, you know, of course, put it together for you? Yeah, for sure. So me and my cousin, you know what I'm saying? Me and my cousin, like, this is how it's work, bro. So when I be here, I get ideas, bro. I get the vision and stuff, right? And so what happened was, when I had, when I got it done the first time, they got it sent back to me, it was too basic. I said, no, nah, bro, no, they got to tell a story. Mm-hmm. I said, no, they got to gotta come, they got to come more lit than that. They got to tell a story when you look yeah. at this picture, you know what You feel me? So, boom, I went together, like, no, I got to add more tools. So what I did was, I added more tools. I added the, uh, the stripper on the side, mm-hmm. you feel me? I added the, um, it's the dice, the, the watch, you know what I'm saying? I had to tell the story of Detroit, you yeah, feel me? So yeah. I got to, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and, like, I ain't going to lie, at first, I had to look at it at, for a minute, because you and Dog look like twins on this mug. It like, <laughs> you feel me? I thought, I thought that was you with braids back in the day or some shit. You feel me? But, but if you really pay attention, man, it's, it's, it's split, you know, uh, face with, with you and him, bro. That's creative and dope as hell, bro. No, for real, bro. I, when I saw it, I said, damn, he brothers low key. I don't know about <laughs> <up>. <laughs> So I ain't tripping. You know it is something that you saw. 
No, I saw that for sure. I saw that for sure. And everybody else peeped it too. Everybody told me the same thing. Like, bro, oh, like, oh, brother, I can't tell who was who. You know up. what I'm saying? For sure. Straight up, yeah. straight up. Talk a little bit about family, man. Um, you know, to my understanding, man, you got a son. And um yeah. being in them circumstances or whatever, um, what does that relationship, like keeping that relationship, communicating with him, um, being, you know, being a good example for him, although you've been through what you've been through. Uh talk a little bit about that. So family, bro. No, family is number one to me, bro. You know, in these type of situations, that's all we got for real. You know, when the fame gone, the money gone, bro, all we really got for real is family. You know what I'm saying? So I'm at my lowest right now. So when it comes to my son, bro, you know, I mean, like, you know, no matter what, bro, like, I'm doing everything I can for behind bars to make sure he never got to go through what I go, what I went through or be up in these situations. You feel me? So when it comes to him, bro, it's really his mama, bro. She helped me out a lot, man. We've been able to, like, stay in this life and stay active, bro. You feel me? So I call him and I talk to him about school. Listen, stay focused. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he growing up without me. So he looking for, at some time, at times, he was looking for something to believe in. You feel me? So I had to, I had to step it up. Like, hold on, let me, let me get on even more. You feel me? And I get together, bro. He Ready, you know what I'm saying? He coming up next as far as the music. And he focused. Me and man, it's sick. Now, nah, as you mentioned that, bro, I just found out he, he got on the honor roll. You feel me? On the honor roll. Now, nah, so he turned it all the way around. He focused, too. He locked in. You feel me? So that's what it is. That's hard. That's hard. How old is he? He's 13. Yeah, he's in high school next year. Oh, yeah. This, those, yeah, these them ages for show, for show. So you on point with that. In terms of your child's mother, man, because I know it could be difficult for some people to maintain good relationships like that. Talk a little bit about how you was able to keep a good relationship with her so that you can have that open relationship with your son. Man, respect is number one, man. It, it, it be hard in here, you feel me? Like, I mean, don't get it twisted, but you had the ups and downs, but you got you to just keep going. Like, you got to always bring back to the point that it's love there. You feel me? We got a family, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, our son is our main priority. So even though we going through what we go through, we bounce back from it, but our son got to make sure, we got to make sure he stay at all costs, man. So... Mm -hmm. That's really what that is for real. Like her support is having her full support and she be fully supporting me, you know? No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. I saw a recent uh Instagram post that you made um about, on the Breakfast Club, about the Breakfast Club, and uh it's a possibility oh, yeah. of Jay Z supposing to be able to do something with good time in Michigan. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, say it again one more time, right? So I heard you real quick. Actually I'll just say what was that post about in terms of good time in Michigan, uh that you put up uh a few hours ago. Okay. Okay, yeah, so what I did was um so a guy in here which he next door to me, he been getting up early in the morning, bro, at six o'clock, bro, calling Breakfast Club trying to get through because we need signatures to get good time passed in Michigan. So he been calling eight day at six o'clock in the morning, bro. He finally ended up getting through. So when he got through, he was basically bringing awareness, you know what I'm saying? We'll be dealing with a Michigan because we keep losing. Like, we not having nobody step up to the plate with big influence. So right now, we trying to put together a meet and greet where all the top rappers in the city can do a meet and greet with their fan base in order for them to get a picture or something or meet them in person. They got to sign a signature or have their mama or somebody sign a signature as well. So that's what that post was about, the ways of awareness that by January, we got to get we gotta get a certain amount of signatures to get good time passed. Oh, man. Well, well, I'm glad that you brought that to my awareness because any way that we can use the platform to assist in that cause, we definitely want to do that. You feel me? Um, so definitely want to do that. In terms of um, uh, rappers, in terms of rappers in support of prisoners, because you hear a lot of rappers, they talk about the street stuff. They talk about going to jail, talk about rats, talk about all of this different type of stuff. But that support for the prisoners is not really there. If you can, can you talk about the lack of support for uh, Detroit rappers and, you know, people in prison? Oh, yeah, for sure, man. So it's a lot of it. You know, I, I don't know if it be like they got in jail and they get back into their life and everything going good for them to the point they forget about. You have one minute remaining. To the point they forget about the ones that's back there in the struggle, you feel me? Or, like, it could just be like they just not, they're not thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? So what it is, but we need people out there. You know a rapper, bro, who popping, bro, got a good fan base, bro. Get in this ear, holler at them, let them know. Listen, bro, we trying to get this good time passed, bro. You got, they got cousins, they got brothers. Hey, hey rapper out there, you got somebody that's locked up in here, bro. You know what I'm saying? They need to stand on business, bro. It's time for everybody to get involved, bro. It's time for everybody to be aware of what's going on and stand on business, bro, so we can make a change. If they ain't going to change up there in the court, bro, or, or the legislators, they ain't going to change, the senators ain't going to change it. We gotta change it. We gotta take it our own hands. 
in. We gonna move something, you feel me? Really? So we gotta get some signatures, bro. The rappers gotta tap in. Okay, yes, sir. So, um, documentary, man. Uh, you got a documentary in motion. Um, if you can talk a little bit about that doc, bro. All right, so yeah, documentary. This where this come in, man, bro. You gotta think about it. like a lot of rappers that rap, bro. You really see like don't want their highest. You don't really get a chance to really get to know that artist from back in the day when they ain't had nothing. You feel me? So what I'm doing is I'm starting with the struggle. You know what I'm saying? I'm starting my struggle so they can get to know me more. You know what I'm saying? Know me better. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, off of one song, they ain't gonna be able, my my whole life story can't fit into one song. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I got to come out with a documentary. You feel me? So that's in motion right now. No doubt, no doubt. And that's creative within itself. I think that branding, uh, I think you got a pretty good concept of how to brand. Like, even artists out here don't take those steps. Like, you got to have a full package to really make it. You know what I mean? So you definitely in the direct right direction with that. Um, You also got uh, websites and stuff like that that you're putting together? Yeah, so y'all, right now I'm putting together my website, right? So <clears throat> I had said this before, like, Okay, you can listen to my song, but if you get a piece of, like, a shirt, a shirt, uh, any type of piece of my merchandise, you feel like I'm ready to put out, like, a sweater, you know what I'm saying, or even a whole jogging fit, you still got a piece of me even when my song go off. You still part of the movement, you know what I'm saying? So that's where the website going to come in at, you feel me? You get people the opportunity to be able to support us, you know what I'm saying? No and doubt. then still put on. No doubt, no doubt. Uh, if you can, if there is like any special shout outs or any like, you know, special salutes that you want to give to anybody out here, anybody that may tap in and watch this. Yeah, for sure. I definitely got shout outs, man. First of all, man, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my team, bro. You know what I'm saying? My team man, been working, bro. You feel me? We've been putting in all hours from sacrifice and sleep and et cetera, bro. You know what I'm saying? To make this happen, man. So, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my cuz. For so, sure, cause she been supporting me hundred percent, man. Shout out to Jerk, man. You know, Jerk been a big, big part of the, you know what I'm saying this as well. You feel me? He been one hundred, bro. Hey, since you know what I'm saying we locked in, he been one hundred since day one. And shout out to Babyface Ray for so, sure, bro. Babyface Ray really a humble dude. You know what I'm saying? And he really supported me a lot. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, he, he, he definitely deserves his roses for so, sure, bro. He definitely deserves that. You know what I'm saying? He on that for so. Sure. And then shout out to Lee Hustle, man. Courtney Bill. I mean, hey, buddy, bro, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my son, bro. You know what I'm saying? The whole, the whole mob. You know what I'm saying? I, I know they're going to be listening to this, too. You see me? Hey, buddy, bro. Hey, buddy, who part of the Tay brand, bro. I shout out to y'all, man. For sure. I forgot y'all names. I just forgot about y'all. Y'all know it's a lot of y'all. So that's what it is. You see me? No doubt. No doubt, man. Like I said before, I know the first time it cut off, man. But um, I definitely salute you, bro. Um, you know what I mean? And it's, it's shit. It's inspirational for me. Shit. I feel like, nah, I got to do some shit. Some astronomical <laughs> shit, you feel me? Like so, <laughs> so yeah, hell yeah, bro. Um, keep that motion going, man. Stay positive, even though you, you know, what I mean, in, in, you know, in that circumstance, stay positive, bro. Um, continue to keep your mind right, your body, your spirit. You feel me? And shit, it ain't gonna be nothing but success from there, for real, for real. Man, I appreciate those words, bro. I appreciate it, man. It mean a lot to me, brother. No doubt, no doubt, man. Peace, y'all heard it here, man. The Forum Magazine, Post of the Culture. Let's get it.